and talking about passion and supporting young hands, there's a new creative platform for lovers of images to hone their skills, the Fashion Lab Photographic Foundation. And no one knows that better than those that went through a rigorous process and emerged victorious. A look at the faces in this hall, and one will be forgiven to think this was a political gathering. But the big wigs came to see an art event, which is twofold, the exhibition and launch of the Fashola Photographic Foundation. But don't start thinking the Minister of Power Works in Housing, Babatunde Fashola, has found a new hobby. This foundation and what it stands for is all about his father, the renowned journalist Ibrahim Fashola, who had a deep passion for this art. In 80 years, he certainly reached so many places and touched so many lives that beyond what we could contemplate, there's so many people who knew him in different ways that we are still just encountering. From his days in Ghana, to his days in the United Kingdom, to his days in the Daily Times, to his affiliations across many different social and professional groups and clubs. The desire to keep this dream alive and encourage those who want to walk this path gave birth to this foundation. Young hands were trained for weeks by their contemporaries and the picture seen here is the outcome of that exercise. They taught us how to do so much with so little. So something that I really considered a challenge before in the actual sense, it really isn't. Because before, I had thought that, oh, you needed to have all the right equipment. But the facilitators were very practical in that with just a DSLR, there's so much you can achieve. And I think that's one of the things that photographers need to understand, that really, you can do so much with what you have. Even if what you have is a camera phone, but there's so much that you can achieve with it. It's a win-win situation, no matter the side of the divide. I don't think I've taught a class that was more in-depth. It wasn't just about technicals, but the technicality of photography, but how, to, how I think as a photographer, and just sharing my own personal vision and experiences with them. They had amazing questions, and it was very intimate, and I absolutely enjoyed teaching the class. I think it was hard to find a winner. They were all amazing photographers. The weeks of focusing and learning pays off. The top shot gets the top prize. Vivian Nwobi tries to find the words to express how grateful she is. Her monochrome image of a woman in the market won the hearts of the judges and a ticket to create a career from this crack. I can't put my feelings into words right now. I'm extremely over overwhelmed. The other participants were amazing. There was so much talent in that room. Like, I'm sure the judges had such a tough time coming to decide on who was the winner. I feel truly blessed to have been able to participate and actually come out on top. So I'm looking forward to going to New York. While an excited Kainde Yusuf follows closely, with her nature and figurative images. I'm excited, this is, this is a big one, this is a big one for me. I never expected it, like, I try to like interpret what I see, basically it's my environment, everything around me, that's what inspires me. Other art patrons are happy that the glory days of photography will be restored, as the practitioners need to be given this kind of support so they can stay true to the course. It's a classic example of how Photography has had a rebirth in Nigeria. It has had its ups and downs. The 70s were the glorious years. We had lots of young photographers, just to name a few, G.D. Adeni Jones, Sumi Smarko. They came and they energized our press. Then there was a law. Before it was glass negatives, Cellular, now we are in the digital age and beyond. So I'm very happy that Nigerian, that photography in Nigeria is keeping up with the times. 
and I'm happy that the Bachelor Photographic Foundation is a catalyst in making our photographers arrive and become world class. It is like um, encouraging the younger ones to look at other areas of passion apart from white collar jobs. Look at how talented you are, go into it, develop it, and let us see whether it can put food on the table and engage some people, you know, um, as employees. To wrap up an eventful day, a live drawing of Ibrahim Fashala is being done on stage while Nigerian singer Nice fills the atmosphere with songs. What a way to leave a legacy, investing in the future, the youth. I'm sure Vivian and Kende are looking forward to learning more so they can grow their careers with time.